Yo, 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 welcome guys. It is your boy Mr. Lou, although I'm not a Mr. just yet. Uh, anyway, uh, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys just how easy it is to create an amazing UI within Unity itself. Now, this is how the project is going to look like once we're done with it. So, this is in Photoshop right now. So, I've just exported these assets and I'm going to show you guys just how to import them into Unity and get started. So, let me just go look for my assets right here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put this in the download, uh, get a download for these things so you guys can get them, but uh, you guys can use your own assets. Uh, but uh, for this purpose, uh, anyway, I am just going to start doing it. So I am sorry guys if my content is not great right now. This is actually my very first YouTube video. So without any further ado, I'm going to keep it real. I'm not going to edit anything out, so let's drop these things inside. I'm assuming you guys already know how to import and export stuff out of unity so what i'm going to do is just drag these in here right so what is going to happen is that unity is going to import these right so that we can use them inside the engine itself so to make this thing quick and easy and painless i'm gonna quickly get my background which is in photoshop so uh just to see i want the exact background as i have right here so i'm gonna just copy this code right there color code and then I'm going to paste it within Unity itself, right? So I'm going to paste it right here. And then we have the exact color scheme we have in Photoshop. So now the other thing next to do is we have to create a UI, you know, a UI interface. So you got to go to UI. And since everything we have are images, um, you could use buttons, but uh, yeah, let's use buttons. Okay, so let's use a button, right? And then Unity is going to do its thing, it's going to give us a button. I'm sorry my PC is quite, quite slow at the moment because I do have some programs running in the background. Uh, yeah, so anywho, uh, let's get that started. So double click on the button that Unity has created for us. Now, you know, we don't like this design. I basically hate it. Um, so I'm just double click on that. And then I'm going to increase the size of it. So so that it can look really really good so what's happening now is that we want to play button so this is the sprite right so watch what happens when I delete it right so once I've deleted it there's nothing there these edges become rock solid edges you know they're not so smooth as they were before um, and then all you have to do is just drag in that UI button and boom boy boom you got your button so all you have to do now is just scale everything up to the size that you want them to be so I'm say this is fine for me right mm -hmm. so I'm gonna just leave it right there right and I'm gonna delete the text over there and now what's gonna happen is I'm going to copy this button so I'm going to duplicate and then I am just going to move it down and then duplicate and then now what's going to happen now is that I'm just going to replace button the copy but the copy button with another image which is then going to be settings and then the last one with the quick image which is then going to be like that uh-huh and then all you gotta do is just scale everything up so that it looks nice you feel me yeah and then you're just going to drop it down like so and then the next thing we want to do is add in our title so now this depends on how you made it so if it's an image title that you just imported from Photoshop you can just you know displayed in, in unity as an image and then all you have to do is just you know scale everything up and make it everything just look pretty good now as you can see here this is how the project looks like at the moment now it is not you know good looking or whatever uh, what we can do though right what we can do though is um let me just quickly you know you know get some music in Alright, so what we can do is pretty pretty much go down to the canvas and then here we say screen space overlay. We are going to uh, switch that. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, actually, it's at the UI scale mode, constant pixel size, and then we're going to scale that with the screen size. You see, now do you see what happened? So now everything is now a different scale because now we're actually scaling this to the screen size that 
you know our game will be running on so if this is running on a 10.80 screen it will look exactly the way we wanted it to look everything will be where it should be if it's running on a smaller screen everything will fit in perfectly and so forth and so forth y'all get the idea so anywho once we've done so um, the next thing is what the next thing that we want to do is give these buttons you know whatever something to do right so if I play this right now right play this so I'm sorry guys like I say my system is a bit slow because I have other projects uh, running in the background anywho so this is how it looks like if I click nothing happens right and then so if something if you guys want something to happen I've already created a script here which is empty by the way so I'm assuming you guys know how to create scripts and so forth because guys I really want this video to be a quick video uh, what we could do is we could create either an array or we could just create uh, functions for the each and every button that we have individually which I'm going to keep everything as simple as possible so I'm going to create a public uh, a public a public so my system is quite slow so intelligence here is running pretty badly slowly so what you're gonna do is we're gonna create a public method uh, we're going to call this um, let's see how many buttons we have we have three buttons so the first button is the play button so we're going to call this play game right mm -hmm. and then from there on we're just going to duplicate this right uh, it's very very slow duplicate paste and paste and then this one is going to be uh, settings so it's going to be game settings settings and then this one is going to be quick game, right? So um, this one is pretty simple and easy to do. So all I have to do is just application dot quit, and that's it. So it's gonna quit the game, and then game settings. Uh, let's say for example, you know, uh, game settings has its own scene or whatever, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up here, and we're going to type in using Unity Engine dot UI. Oh no 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 dot scene management, right? Now this will help us with switching levels and so forth and so forth and so forth. So what we're going to do now is that we're just going to say um, C manager C. Hello C. Sorry guys. Uh, C manager to load C. Right. And then here we're just going to type in the scene that we want to load. Right. So or we can just say get. Um, uh, how do I do this again? I'm so sorry guys, I forgot. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep it as simple as, it, as I can keep it. Uh, so we're just gonna say maybe one, right? Or maybe one, yeah, one like that. And then play game, we can do exactly the same thing. C manager the low scene, right? C manager the low scene, right? And then we can say maybe this one, uh, game scene. Just name game scene, whatever right mm -hmm. and then once we're done here we can just you know compile uh-huh compile comp comp compile i'm sorry my system is seriously very slow um yeah so it's compiling now um this is the easiest way to create buttons right so i'm just showing you guys a quick and easy method of creating uis with little effort um so this is the completest uh what, what, what am i even saying <laughs> This is exactly beginner's level right here. This guys, this is so so super easy, guys. Um, so yeah, the next thing we have to do is create an empty object, right? Mm -hmm. So again, my system is really slow, so everything is quite slow. Uh huh. So once the game object has been created, we are going to name this uh, UI controls, um, or we can just say UI button. Alright, so just so that we know what we're dealing with there. And then we're going to take that script that we created. So click and drag it into that new game object we created. Right? So then here we're going to see those buttons pop up and... Oh, oh actually not pop up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, the buttons are not going to pop up. What we have to do is go to these buttons. So as you can see, if I double click, we're on the play button. Right? And then inside here, what happens on click? What do we want to happen? So now it seems we have... Your I buttons, what you're going to do is just click and drag that inside here and then go down to functions, UI button and then here is going to be play game and then we're going to do our settings 
and then we're just going to do the exact same thing that uh oopsie the exact same thing that we did with the play button so just drag that inside there ui buttons and then this one is going to be game settings and then button 2 the copy and then we're just going to do the same thing right mm -hmm. sorry 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 time i'm trying to keep this video as short as possible but i have just crossed the 10 minute mark so i've missed what i wanted to do in time so anyway uh just do what i'm doing right here so now it's quick game and then everything is not good right mm -hmm. so now let's just create two empty levels here scenes so i'm just gonna save this scene uh-huh so i'm going to save this scene and uh, i'm sorry everything is so slow right now come on Yumi, come on 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 i'm sorry <laughs> Come on, come on. All right, so I'm gonna save this scene as the menu scene. You guys can call this whatever you wanna call it and just save it. And then once you've saved it, uh, it's going to pop up right here. There we go, scene, menu scene. And then we just, and then we can create another scene here. This one can be our play, our level, perhaps maybe. Yeah, call it level. Oh, actually don't call it level. Um, we call it one because remember in our code what we said, yeah, 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 right. So, uh, and then we're going to create a newer scene, and then this one is called game scene, right? So, just copy that, right? And then we're just going to rename this game scene, right? So, then we go down to both settings, and then we are going to add open scenes, and then we're going to add it in um menu scene and the game scene and then we're going to put this in order of appearance so what appears first is our menu scene and then we have the game scene and then so forth everything right so now when we build and run this thing i don't know how long it's going to take so i'm going to just show you guys how to quickly build this so we're going to say call this ui test game and then we're just going to save that and then Unity is going to build the project for us and it will open it. So uh, while we wait for that to happen, I am just going to go and uh, play that same beat once more again. Sorry guys, everything is quite slow right now because of my system. Like, just look at here, I got so many stuff opened up right here. Um, so yeah, it's pretty slow because I'm actually on a you know, very, very old Mac, and it's 2017, I mean, come on. Uh, so yeah, so anyway, Unity is still building, and this shouldn't be taking this long, but for the sake of my laptop right now, it's taking long because of other reasons. Uh, yeah, and I do apologize for the sound quality if it's not that good. I am recording with earphones, so hey, we do what we can do, right? So I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to create some really good stuff in less than an hour two hours whatever how long it will ever take for you to create something that's amazing uh simple actually uh come on you midi come on so uh, i'm going oh there you go there you go come on come on come on come on come on like i said guys i'm now going to edit this video and chop up some stuff i want to keep this as real as possible so that you guys can see exactly how it goes at creating stuff like this, games and so forth, you know, the times that you gotta wait, both times, all those type of stuff, so that you guys can actually see everything. So that when you guys do this, and this happens to you guys, and you know, oh no, this happened to Lou, so it's happening to me too, so, hey, whatever. Um, anyway, while we wait for that to open up, uh, let me see down here, oh, uh, there it is, you're on a test game. So I'm on the on a, I'm on a Mac. Obviously, this will look different if you're using uh, Windows or whatever other operating systems you guys have. So, um, uh, yeah. So come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, dude. Come on. Okay. So here we go. The classic tutorial uh, game UI, and this is the configuration that comes with Unity itself. So guys, I'm not sure what's going on. What's up? What? Is it me? Or... 
you guys I'm going to pause the video right here uh, I know I know I've said I'm not going to pause anything but it seems like nothing is working uh, yeah oh, oh, oh never mind <laughs> uh, yeah so here we go so our UI fits our screen perfectly uh, so when we click play it's going to take us to that new scene we created if we click settings it will take us to the settings screen and we click press quit it will quit the game so I'm going to press quit and boom it should quit the game uh-huh so uh yeah so that's it guys I will see you guys on another video actually let me just press oh what the heck dude what the heck is going on here what is going on don't do that oh there we go we switched scenes but anyway you guys there you have it I know this is a really sloppy video I am so sorry guys uh, I'll make sure that next time everything runs smoothly. Uh, yeah, so this is it for this video, guys. Um, uh, yeah, let me just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye, YouTube.